Welcome back. You know, Halloween is not just for candy and crazy costumes. It might actually be a good time to invest in the stock market. Have you heard that? Local financial pro John Vandergriff from Blue Ridge Wealth Planners is here to talk about the Halloween effect. What, what is that? So this is an effect that a lot of people have heard about in a different way. Most of the time people say the stock market goes up with Santa at the end of the year when people are spending money on Christmas. Right. Uh, but most people don't tend to back that up to Halloween. But there was a recent study done that showed uh, the six months of the year from November to April actually uh, over the last 50 years have had on average a 4% higher performance than the months of May through October. So what do we do with this information? Well, some people will tell you just <laughs> take your money out of the market and then put it back in. The reality is it's just Yikes. it's time in the market that matters more than anything else. Mm -hmm. But if you're kind of sitting on some cash and you look at long-term trends, now may be a good time to put some of that into the market knowing that risk is something that you need to be aware of, mm -hmm. obviously. But, you know, with that, I think it, it backs up some commonly believed um, information that people have about the market where the summer isn't a great time to invest yeah you know th this gives a little bit more validity to a lot of those statements and especially with things right now being a lot up in the air with the bills that are kind of going on in washington and some of the uncertainty when the market has a little bit of dips that's a good time to put money into the market that maybe you were going to do anyway mm -hmm. but when you're looking for more of an opportunistic time you know mm -hmm. taking advantage of that now you know if the money's going to be in the market long term Go ahead and get it there because like we talked about yeah. cash today isn't really your friend yeah from a return standpoint so if it's going to be a long-term investment now may be a good time to do that chance to make a little money yeah chance to make a, a lot that. more than a bank account we like that <laughs> so. uh, what can we expect um overall this fall i mean in terms of it, I know it pays to be careful and not touch things as well but you you're talking about adding a little money what for the average person if there is such a thing for you, what, well, what do you suggest they do right now? So if we're looking kind of at longer term savings, mm -hmm. um, you know, we normally recommend trying to put 10%. I just kind of attach it to what I call a retirement tithe. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to take 10% of your money and give it to a church, I think giving 10% to your future is a good idea too. To yourself. Right. Yeah. But, but uh, what we're seeing now, especially with the way that, you know, credit card debt is, mm -hmm. uh, trying to you know, build up that emergency fund is maybe priority number one, just to avoid paying ridiculously high interest rates on something when, you know, even though you're not making anything at the bank, at least you're not, you know, underwater significantly by yeah. the rates that you have there. So, you know, putting that money in your accounts, making sure that you have it in the worst case scenarios, but then also dumping whatever you can into things like the stock mm -hmm. market. You know, traditionally people look at October as a bad time to mm -hmm. invest in it because 1929 was when the market crashed, 87 yeah. also. But I think, you know, generally speaking, if you've got the long-term nature there, it's not a bad thing to go ahead and put it in there. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.